Today, I'll be discussing our high performance scorecard uh, that I've specifically designed after I recently did an audit this year with high performance coaches that range from managers, strength and power coaches, reconditioning coaches, physiotherapists. Uh, it, was a, it was quite a good in depth questionnaire that's sent out and basically got a better understanding of everyone's journey to their first full time contract. So it was a range of practitioners from Australian Rules Football, NBL, A-League, Rugby, Union and League. And it just gave us a bit of an insight into what it takes to land your first full-time contract. So relevant for all your sports scientists listening in, even personal trainers that are interested in moving over to working in pro sport and looking at doing their sports science degree. And it just allows you to essentially maximize your time and have a bit more direction and clarity on where you need to focus on because success really does leave clues. So I've broken it down into four seasons. As you can see, there's four tabs here, season one, season two, season three, season four. And this allows you, while you're finding your feet at that semi-pro club season one, you can chip away at some other goals. So the criteria, I looked at that questionnaire of what the practitioners wrote down and just looked for any trends and relevant, and that's how what guided the point system here. So more points towards areas that seem quite popular that coaches achieve throughout their years leading up to getting their first full-time job, as well as I looked at what would give you a biggest competitive advantage. So clearly you're going to have to get your sports science degree. That's your ticket to being qualified. So there's not as many points, for example, for that degree because thousands of people get that every year. That's not going to allow you to stand out against the crowd, but something like managing your own program, strength conditioning program at any level will. So there's more points obviously to that. And then also I've taken into account when putting the points together, what's going to prepare you best to make an impact at your first full-time job. So as you can see year one here, some pretty straightforward systems here. So I've just broken it down on the top tabs of the months that you would look to get to achieve these. And then it's a point system. And on a general guide for year one, if you get above 35 points in year one, you're on track for getting a contract at the end of your degree at the end of the fourth season if you're between 25 and 34 points you need some work so you're just falling behind and you'll be playing a bit of catch up later on in your years and if you're less than 24 points it's time to get busy because if you just keep going down that road then you won't even make the interview stage let alone the be able to land a job so Complete your personal training certificate. That will get you 10 points. That's an example. Australian Strength and Conditioning Association, level one, three points. Design a strength and power program that goes for 12 weeks. So you're applying your periodization knowledge, and that's three points. Design and follow a 12-week strength and conditioning program. That's three points. Moving over to season two, to be on track here, we need a minimum of 45 points. You need some work if you range between 35 and 44 points. Time to get busy if you're less than 34 points, okay? So if you're behind the eight ball in season one, make sure you're on track in season two, otherwise you're falling behind. All right, action taken here. So start your bachelor's of sports science degree. Year one, you've practiced at community level, you've run a program, you're qualified in personal training, so perhaps you're building a bit of a business, you're working one-on-one with athletes. So you're really experiencing what it's like to be a coach. Now, you may have started that in season one. And that's okay. You automatically get 15 points. But if you haven't, definitely need to start by season two. Go, get yourself to the Australian Strength and Conditioning Association Conference. Great opportunity to keep a finger on the pulse in the research and applied research. Also, a great opportunity to meet lots of practitioners in the industry. Now, we're going into season three of your strength and conditioning career. So we're here. We're starting to get a little bit closer towards more responsibility at your semi-pro club. If you're on track, you need a minimum of 45 points. If you need some work, it's going to be between 35 and 44 points and time to get busy for those less than 34 points, okay? So to give yourself 10 points, develop your own online coaching business for athletes. So this is where you, the last couple of years, you've developed your personal training business or strength and conditioning one-on-one, perhaps you're working with athletes in the gym, and now we want to start to develop a online business that's something that you can still run as a side hustle when you land that first full-time contract. And that will be really handy 
when you're in between jobs. So start shifting from that face-to-face business where you're ultimately trading time for money. Now we want to start thinking about what's a business that can be more scalable, whether it be a membership, education, online programs that people can follow. There's things that you can create passive in nature or just highly scalable. And then the final year, this is the biggest year. So this is where you've For those listening in, maybe they're graduating at the end of the year, they're going to be um, putting their resumes out, looking for a job, speaking to as many different clubs as they can come September and looking to land their first full-time contract. This is the year where you, to be on track, you need over 300 points. So my final year, I landed 330. Need some work if you're between 150 and 299 points and time to get busy if you're less than 149 points. Work as a head of a performance at a VFL or NAB League or VFLW where you're managing and facilitating the preseason and in season. You get 100 points for each. So there's 200 points there. By managing your own semi pro uh, program, that is going to be the biggest competitive advantage. So if you can get that managerial experience at semi pro level, you're giving yourself a great opportunity and great chance to land your first full time gig. <laughs>